In the last few videos, we've discussed the concepts of simple interest and compound interest. And in grade 10, you're going to need to know how to deal with problems relating to compound interest and simple interest, similar to the problems that we've discussed in the last few videos. But in addition to that, you will also need to know how to apply those concepts to real world examples. And one topic that is going to come up is higher purchase. So what is higher purchase? A higher purchase or a higher purchase agreement is basically like buying some item on an installment plan. So let's say that you wanted to buy an item that costs 10 Rand. And for the sake of this example, let's say that you didn't have 10 Rand, you couldn't afford this. So you decided to buy this item on a higher purchase agreement. And what that means is that you have decided with the seller of the item that you will be able to purchase this item for a percentage of the cost. That is going to be how much you are going to pay for it up front. And the balance is going to be paid over some period of time. So let's say in this case, you had decided with the shop owner that you were going to purchase this 10 Rand item on a higher purchase agreement and he wanted a 10% deposit, that is how much you have to pay right now on the spot to get this item. In this case, 10% of 10 is going to be one rand. And the balance, which is the rest of the money that you owe for this 10 rand item, since you're only paying for 10% upfront. So the balance is to be paid over two years. In this case, you are going to need to pay that 10% deposit up front. So that is going to be one rand, since 10% of 10 is one. So one rand is how much you are going to pay the shop owner for this item. Then over two years, you are going to have to pay the balance. In this case, the balance is going to be nine rand because 10 Rand minus one Rand is nine Rand. So you are going to have to pay off that nine Rand over a period of two years. And the caveat with higher purchase agreements is that in addition to paying for the total cost of the item, you're also going to have to pay interest on that balance. So that means that after paying that one Rand, you are going to have to pay a certain amount of interest on this nine rand that is remaining. And that is going to be calculated based on simple interest. So whenever you see a problem that is dealing with higher purchase agreements or higher purchase loans, as they are sometimes referred to, you know that you are going to need to be using the simple interest formula. So you are going to be paying simple interest on this nine rand balance over a period of two years. So let's say in this case, the simple interest rate was 10% interest, and it was 10% interest per annum. What that means is that you are going to need to pay 10% of this nine rand each year for two years. So let's calculate how much you are going to owe after those two years. You are going to have to pay the principal times one plus I times N. This is your simple interest formula. In this case, our principal is not the 10 Rand because we've already paid one Rand of that. So our new principal is going to be nine Rand. And that interest is going to be calculated only on that nine Rand, which is why it is simple interest. Because we know that simple interest is interest that's calculated only on the initial amount of money that is owed. So this, in this case, that is going to be nine Rand and you are only going to be paying interest on this nine Rand. So that is going to be our P in this case. So we have nine multiplied by one plus 0 0.1, which is our interest rate as a decimal. The number of years is two years. If you put this into your calculator, you are going to get 10 Point eight. So you are going to have to pay 10 Rand and 80 cents at the end of those two years. And the way that higher purchase agreements usually work 
is that you are going to pay back the amount that you owe, in this case, 10 Rand and 80 cents in monthly installments. So you don't pay it back in total at the end of two years. You are going to have to pay this back in monthly installments over that period of time. So in this case, we know that two years is equal to 24 months. So if you had to pay back this total amount of money in 24 months, to calculate how much you're going to have to pay per month, you are going to take that 10 Rand and 80 cents and divide it by 24. That is going to tell you how much you are going to have to pay back per month. If you plug this into your calculator, you are going to get 0 0.45. So you are going to have to pay back 45 cents every month for two years. And in this case, the total cost that we are going to have paid back at the end of those two years is going to be this 10 Rand and 80 cents plus the one Rand that we paid at the point of purchase. That was the deposit that we put in. So in total, we would have paid the one Rand plus the 10 Rand and 80 cents, which comes to a total of 11 Rand and 80 cents. So the cost of our item was 10 Rand, but because we decided to purchase it on a higher purchase agreement, we ended up paying 11 Rand and 80 cents for our item because we had to pay interest on that balance that was left over for the period of two years. So that is how higher purchase agreements work. Let's go over another example using higher purchase agreements. Let's say I purchase a TV for 5,000 Rand on a higher purchase agreement. There is a 12% deposit. So 12% is what I have to pay up front, followed by monthly installments for two years at 6% interest per annum. So let's break down this question. The initial cost of the TV is 5,000 Rand. And based on the terms of the higher purchase agreement, they want 12% of this total cost up front. That is what I have to pay at the point of purchase. So the deposit is going to be the 5,000 Rand. And you're going to have to take 12% of that. So 12% of 5,000 Rand. And that is going to come down to 600 Rand. So 600 Rand is how much you are going to have to pay up front at the point of purchase. Now, what is going to be the balance? The balance is going to be what we still owe to the shopkeeper for this TV. We've paid them 600 Rand but we are still going to owe them 5,000 Rand minus that 600 Rand. 5,000 minus 600 is equal to 4,400. So we are still going to have to owe them 4,400 Rand. And since this is a higher purchase agreement, we have agreed that this 4,400 Rand is going to be paid back over two years in monthly installments. But of course, since technically this is now going to be a loan that you owe, you are going to have to pay interest for that. And in this case, you are going to have to pay 6% interest per year on this balance. And remember, whenever we are dealing with higher purchase questions, we are going to be dealing with simple interest. So we use the simple interest formula. And that formula is that the amount that is accumulated at the end of that term, in this case it's a two-year term, is going to be your principal multiplied by 1 plus your interest rate as a decimal times the number of years. The amount that we are going to have to pay back in total over that period of two years is going to be our principal, which in this case is 4,400 Rand. That is the amount that we owe since we have already paid this 600 Rand. So it's going to be 4,400 multiplied by 1 
plus our interest rate as a decimal. In this case, our interest rate is 6%, so that is 0 0.06 as a decimal, multiplied by our number of years, in this case, two years. If you plug this into your calculator, you are going to get 4,928. So 4,928 rands is how much you are going to have to pay back in total over that two year period. And now to calculate how much that is going to come out to in monthly installments, we have to divide this total cost by the number of months in order to get the amount that we pay back per month. Since this amount here is the total amount that we need to pay them for those two years. So two years we know is 24 months. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here. Two years is equal to 24 months. So to calculate our monthly installment, we're going to take 4,928 Rand and divide that by 24. And that is going to come out to 205 Rand and 33 cents. 205.33 is 4,928 divided by 24. So this is going to be our monthly installment. Every month we are going to have to pay 205 Rand and 33 cents for a period of two years. So what is the total cost of this higher purchase agreement? Well, we know that this 205.33 per month is going to equal to this 4,928 for those two years. So we know that we're going to have to be paying 4,928. But in addition to that, we also can't forget about the initial deposit that we paid. We paid 600 Rand at the point of purchase when we were buying this TV. So we have to add that 600 Rand to our 4,928 Rand that we paid on the balance. So in total, the total cost of this higher purchase agreement is going to be 5,528 Rand. That is how much this purchase is going to have cost us in total. So of course, since the initial cost of the TV was only 5,000 Rand, if we were able to buy that TV up front, it would have only cost us 5,000 Rand. But because we did a higher purchase agreement and we had to pay interest on that balance after paying just the deposit, we are going to have paid 5,528 Rand in total at the end. So doing this higher purchase agreement cost us 528 Rand in the big scheme of things. So it doesn't make sense to take on a higher purchase agreement if you have the funds to pay for something up front. But of course, in many cases, this isn't an option for people. There are often many cases in which you have to buy something and you don't have the funds to pay for it all up front and you need to do a higher purchase agreement. But the price of doing that is that you are going to be paying more than the initial cost of that item. So we'll stop there for now and in the next lesson we'll go over a couple more examples of higher purchase agreements for practice.